Roger, um, first Grand Slam title since 2012, but since that time you've been close in the Grand yeah. Slam finals, semifinals. How did you go about overcoming those disappointments the last several years? Yeah, good question. I'm not sure, you know, uh, you just go and deal with it, you know, you have no choice. Um, because I was actually playing well, um, when I was playing, um, it kind of left me uh, believing that something might be around the corner, you know, if I get a bit lucky. Um, not that I uh, didn't get got unlucky, but sometimes you can push your luck your way. And that's maybe exactly what happened on match point with that challenge. Who knows? So for me to have done it this way now is very confusing to me because going away from the game for six months, figuring out my body, my knee, and then coming back with zero expectations, I said... The best I can do probably here is a fourth round or a quarter final, depending on the on the draw. And I sit here as the champion. It's really strange to me. Um, but the magnitude of it uh, around beating Rafa in the finals, back to back five setters, I won against three or four top ten players this tournament, and I was able to string together so many cool, cool victories. This one's going to feel extra special, I'm sure about it, in a, in a few days. Well, you touched on the draw. Everybody came in saying it was going to be a tough draw for you. talked about the players that you beat. Can you take us through the tournament in terms of when you started to feel, you know what, I got a shot at this? I think the first time I actually believed I could win the title was maybe yesterday or this morning. Um, I just thought, you know, like it, 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 I started seeing flashes of me with a trophy or flashes with me winning. Uh, normally I only get that when I start feeling good and I'm in the right mindset um, because otherwise you get flashes of how you do the acceptance speech but on the loser side or how you're going to explain your loss and I don't like it when that creeps into your head but you can't help it. It's just it just um, goes, goes like that. Um, but I think it was more of a mental battle for me in the finals than it was a physical one, even though I had to take an injury time up because my leg's been killing me for the last week or 10 days or so. Um, so I'm just uh, I'm just happy I weathered the storm and was able to find a way when it was most necessary in the fifth. And it's, uh, yeah, it's it's it was a great celebration for tennis as well. Rafa is a, it's a great champion and I hope we'll see him so much more from him. And I hope he can win the French Open or come back, especially here to Australia and win it because he deserved it as much as I did tonight, I thought.